Graham requested me on Patreon to review the Disney Channel original movie Lemonade Mouth. Originally aired in 2011, this is probably one of the more successful DCOMs, and it's easy to see why. While following the vein of High School Musical, the movie did manage to be its own thing and make good use of its young, up-and-coming cast. The songs are also terrific and are the highlights of the film, although are your fair share of cliches. As I said, the lead actors helped Lemonade Mouth in a major way, and quite a few have had solid careers since then. Bridget Mendler was given top billing, which makes sense, seeing as she had begun starring in Good Luck Charlie shortly before Lemonade Mouth entered production, and she also had a recurring role in Wizards of Waverly Place. She delivers a great performance, and she's actually given more emotional scenes to play. Watching said sequences, I still have no idea why Mendler did not become a bigger thing after Good Luck Charlie ended its run. Her most high-profile productions since then have been a few sitcoms and the Netflix movie Fog of the Year with David Spade. However, she is currently working as a research assistant at MIT, and I think that's really neat. Haley Kyoko shines the rebel of the group, getting some funny sarcastic remarks here and there. Naomi Scott also appears as a member of the titular band and gives a solid performance too, along with Blake Michael and Adam Hicks. I thought the lead actors worked really nicely together, and their growing friendship was believable. Ten songs were written for Lemonade Mouth, and they succeeded in catching Easy to Buy's legitimate hits among the students at the high school. The actors especially give it the all when performing the songs. My favorite one is Somebody, which serves as a strong single for Mendler. Turn up the music, Determinate, and Breakthrough are also really good, and fit perfectly within that context in the movie. Yes, most of these are bubbly pop tunes, but you need to remember this film is catered towards a tween audience that watches the Disney Channel. A huge credit should also go to director Patricia Riggin, who makes sure the musical numbers are appropriately energetic and the concert scenes especially come alive. Something I appreciate about Lemonade Mouth is the message it sends about the educational system. The film shows the importance of students fighting against the conformity imposed on them in schools, which I think is great, and the movie also criticizes how some schools feel the need to decrease funding for arts programs or see subjects like music as lesser. While the film stays mostly down-to-earth and depicting the realities of the main characters, albeit in that Disney Channel style, it does go over the top in depicting the antagonist. The principal is especially guilty of this. He's played by Christopher McDonald, who most will recognize the villain from Happy Gilmore, and he's somehow more subtle in that wacky Adam Sandler comedy. In Lemonade Mouth, he plays the principal to such a ridiculous degree, especially compared to the more naturalistic acting of the young actors. I get he's meant to be the annoying cheapstake authoritarian figure, but take it down a notch. Then there are the bullies, and these were the most frustrating characters. They primarily exist as an obstacle for the band, and that's a logical conflict to have in the story. However, they're clearly at fault when something goes wrong, and yet it's Lemonade Mouth that gets in trouble. Their sudden stays for Heli Kyoka also comes right out of nowhere. Seriously, the first time the bullies see her, they mock her for being the new girl. I know teenagers can be mean for petty reasons, but they should still have a more logical reason to mock her than they've never seen her before. Do they hate all strangers? Like a lot of movies about bands, there is the expected third act breakup, and I thought this was done in a very contrived way. At least it does not last too long. But for all of its faults, I do think Lemonade Mouth makes for a watchable experience. The filmmakers clearly care about these characters, and you do want for that band to succeed. Most importantly, the songs are really good. If the songs were bad or mediocre, the entire plot would have likely fallen apart. As I mentioned at the start of the video, the movie was a big rating success, and Disney Channel announced a sequel a few months after the premiere. However, a year later, the actors revealed it was no longer going to happen. According to Bridget Mendler, they just cannot come up with a suitable story. Even if Disney did later decide to produce a sequel, the cast have since moved on to other things, and it would probably be difficult to bring them back for Lemonade Mouth 2, especially Adam Hicks. I think the film works okay as a standalone, though. And while not a great movie, it does have a decent amount of charm and a solid message. If you've seen Lemonade Mouth, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for the request, Graham.